Hey guys, what's up? This is Mike and we're here at our camper and we're gonna do some mods. So come along with us for this fun and exciting way that we make our camper better and easier to enjoy. Hey guys, so our first project is gonna be, we've got this really fantastic two cycle, two stage water um, purifier here. And historically, you know, for the whole time we've had this thing, we just hook it up to the water, like you normally would, and then we just set the thing on the ground. That's always bothered me a little bit. So now we've got all this space in here, and before we go on our epic trip out to Yellowstone this summer, I want to get this thing tucked up nicely in here so that it's out of the way. And every time that we pack up and load up and go to the next place, that we don't have to take this thing off the ground and repack and restow the whole thing. Hey guys, Mike here again, and we're outside of our Keystone Cougar 364 bunkhouse. This is an awesome fifth wheel. So, our next mod is to make our low drain valves a little bit easier to drain. I always like getting that water out of those lines when we're not going to be in the camper for a while. I just feel like having that stagnant water in there, gross. So, we drain them out. All right, guys, so now we're in the underbelly of our camper here, and we've got our hot and our cold lines, and you see they've got these screw caps on here, right? And that's kind of a pain. So what I want to do, and I don't have it yet, is put a ball valve on here. To do that, we'll cut this PEX, and then we'll put the ball valve on with a crimp. And then when we're ready to drain it, we'll open the valve, water will come out, easy peasy. All right, so we're gonna grab a few tools to take a look and get some measurements for our next project, which is gonna be the biggest one that we're doing to date. It's gonna be stowing our Blackstone griddle. You guys have one, you love them, they're awesome, and they make the best bacon ever. Oh my goodness, this Blackstone is awesome, but it is so heavy and getting it up, getting it out. Inevitably, I always get greasy from the thing. So, we want to move it from the front compartment up there where we store it, back here to the back, where we've got this basically useless grill that is all rusty and nasty looking and we've never even used it. So, we wanna figure out a way to get this out and that in. This grill has four screws in it. We're going to take those off and then we'll be back in just a minute. So we've now gotten this grill out. And as you can see, this thing is nasty looking. You wouldn't want to cook food on that. We've got the hood off of it and the, the gas line out as well. Now we're going to start to figure out how we're going to get our Blackstone into here. And I think it's going to mean we've got to modify this shelf and maybe this um, this beam here and uh, make it a little bit wider and definitely a little bit taller so our blackstone fits in. Okay, yeah. Go. All right, we're gonna measure to see how much of this beam we need to take out. So, um, we know we've got the notch here for the gas line. We know our grill gr uh, lid kind of sticks out over the, the blackstone and we know we need about probably a half an inch or so. Uh, once we get that, we're gonna be, I think, in really good shape. So knock on wood or my head, this might turn out to be a little bit of an easy project. Only rub is we don't have electricity here at the camp, uh, camper storage. So we'll have to drag this bad boy home and work on it a little bit more another day. Okay, so we've, we've made a little bit of progress here, which is really awesome. Now I think we have a good plan. Our plan is going to be to notch out about an inch, it looks like, of that, that main beam. You see that shelf in there? That shelf is going to come out. And we may need to do something here. This, this is kind of nice and it seems sturdy, but we may need to take this out to make it a little bit better, more stable for our Blackstone. Hey everybody, welcome back. We are 
now in our home shop because we don't have power at our camper storage. What we're going to do, we've taken measurements. We know our, our, the width of the bay where we want to put the Blackstone is about 22 inches or so, and oh. our Blackstone is about 23 inches. So we need a little bit extra clearance. And to wait, we're going to we'll come back with another video on that. But for today, we're going to work on building a shelf for the Blackstone to sit on so we can slide it in and out. All right, yep. Action. Okay, so now we've cut down our board, our platform for the black stone to sit on. And what we're going to do now is mark where the feet are so we can use a little cut hole drill bit um, in order to recess a little bit so the feet sit down and the blackstone stays secure while we're traveling. You'll note it's not exactly centered which is okay because we have in our camper in the bay we have a little bit more room on the right side of that bay and so it's going to be a little off off centered, uh, but I think that's okay. The other element that we took into consideration was this handle and making sure that it didn't extend out over our board. And then same to the back, that we didn't over stick it. And that way we know this board is, is cut small enough that will fit generally in our opening without too much more modification to our camper. All right, so now we have our holes cut and our black stone is nice and secure in there. Our next step is going to be to make our modification inside the camper, which we will do the next time we're at a site and we have power. Hey everybody, we are back. We're working today on the drawer slide and working to take this out so we can reuse these side rails here. Um, as you can see, we're at the campground. It's a lovely day, and hopefully in no time, we'll have this off, and we'll be modifying these slide rails to hold our, our Blackstone. So we got our drawer out, which is awesome turned out to be a lot easier than I thought and uh, was making it out to be. But we got it out and there's a couple of screws and a couple rivets in here. The screws are gonna be easy to get out with our little drill driver here. The rivets are gonna be a little trickier. We'll get them out. Now we're taking this board and we're going to cut it down to length so that it will fit on the side rails. We'll screw the side rail to slide on into our board here and then we'll, we'll screw our top that we made last, last time um, onto this board so that it'll hold our blackstone and we can slide it in nice and easy. 
Welcome back, sports fans. We are in the process of putting our slides together. Uh, we ran into a, a small snag. They got a little stuck when they were going in uh, to the compartment. So changed them out for some smaller screws that are flathead. Um, hopefully it's gonna be a little more flush and we'll see. Cross your fingers. Okay, that worked out perfect. So our slide now goes in and comes back out pretty easily. So that's awesome. So now we're gonna put the other one on. And in order to do that, we kind of measure to make sure that our slide rail and our, our wood lined up. And we're going to place them down here on the table and get it all screwed together. Shelf out and make in the other mod currently. Alright, we're almost done now. We've got our shelf in and we have a little bit more to go, but um, we're getting really close here. So 